Katie Taylor did it. Split decision over Amanda Serrano. Let's talk about it. Well, the great Katie Taylor wins a split decision over the great Amanda Serrano, a fight that lived up to the hype. Let me start out by saying I did get this fight wrong. I picked Amanda Serrano by decision. I thought that she would hurt Katie in the fight, which she did in the fifth round. And I thought that she possibly could get a knockdown because her power would carry up and it would lead her to a decision. But that's not what happened. We get a split decision. Let's start with some quick pros and cons. For Katie Taylor, I like the fact that Katie Taylor showed quick hands. Now, I'm one of the people who said that Katie Taylor was slowing down a bit. I'm the same person who said for the last five years that she was the best fighter in women's boxing. But I thought that she began to slip after that first pursuance fight. But her hands looked good. I mean, that last she was uh, landing that quick, uh, that quick left hook and her right hand still looked good and quick. And I like the fact that she started throwing combinations starting around the, the third and fourth round. The first few rounds, I didn't like the fact that it, was, it seemed to be one shot, one shot. As for the cons for Katie Taylor, I would say getting into a firefight. That fifth round, I thought Katie Taylor was out of there. I mean, she was badly hurt. Her eyes looked glazed over. She was stumbling forward. She was standing square. It just didn't look like the Katie Taylor that we've seen before. I've never seen her hurt like that before. So I didn't like the fact that she got into a firefight. For, as for Manna Serrano, the straight left was looking good. The body shots was looking good. I like the fact that she was uh, fainting up top and throwing throwing body shots. But as for the cons for Serrano, I would say in rounds seven and eight is where she lost the fight. I believe that she let Katie Taylor off the hook. She let her recoup in the seventh round. And by the eighth round, Katie Taylor was back to doing what she does, hitting and turning. The fight was was good to me from beginning to end i don't think there ever was a dull moment and i'm uh i want to jump in and say something about why i think this fight was good i think it was great because of the two minute rounds we keep hearing people say over and over and over the women need to go to three minute rounds i do not think that the women need three minute rounds both of these women to uh to be very honest with you they were kind of tired in those last few rounds, even though they were throwing a lot of punches. As great a shape as they are in, they still seemed a, a little bit winded. That you know they didn't have a whole lot left in the tank. I think the three minute rounds may be a little too much. Now I'm not saying for sure. I'm saying it may be a little too much. What I would like to see every time I do a video on a woman's uh, fight, I always say instead of three minute rounds, let's just get 12 two minute rounds. Because when this fight was down to one minute, I'm sitting in my chair saying, I need two more rounds of this. I think if we can get 12 two-minute rounds, I think that would be good enough. That's championship caliber. And, hey, maybe we may get a, another stoppage or two. Anyway, it goes, the fight turned out to be just as exciting as we thought it was going to be. Katie Taylor wins by split decision. So let's just, let's just jump into what we want to see from here. A rematch. Plain and simple. It's, it's a rematch. I can't think of anybody else other than the two of them that's going to generate this type of energy, that type of a crowd, and that type of a great fight that they can fight. Let's see these two fight again. I agree with something that Jake Paul and Eddie Hearn said. Maybe September or October. Now, Eddie Hearn said, you know, let's do the fight in Ireland. Katie Taylor, by winning this fight, deserves a big fight in Ireland. Jake Paul said he was okay with that, but I personally don't understand why they can't do it again in Madison Square Garden. I'm not saying that because it's Amanda Serrano's home. I'm saying it because, you know, uh, New York is still uh, right there with Vegas as being the top place to put on a fight. Ireland is closer to New York than it would be, you know, another part of the United States. And I think that they could get the same type of crowd again now. I, I know we'll be asking a lot of the, uh, the uh, fans from Ireland to go a little bit farther, but I think a fight like that needs to be in Vegas. That's what I think. MGM Grand, something big like that. Uh, but, you know, if they want to do the fight in Ireland, I would have no issue with that either. You know, you could look at it like that and say, hey, Katie Taylor deserved it. She won the fight. And I'm not saying that the fight wouldn't be big in, in Ireland. I just think that right here, just like Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder did, uh, Tyson Fury, the, the first fight is a 
is a draw, even though I thought uh, Fury won. He wins the second fight in the United States, and the third fight was in the United States. Tyson Fury knew the stage that was set, and he came over here and did his thing. I would like to see Katie Taylor do that. I would like to see her fight again here. If you don't want to do it in New York again, maybe let's do it in Vegas. But either way it goes, I want to see the fight again, regardless of where it's at. Well, fight fans, what did you think about it? Who did you pick to win? Did you pick Taylor? Did you pick Serrano? And did you think that the decision was fair? I mean, it was a split decision, meaning that one judge thought Serrano won the fight. So give me your thoughts on it. Give me your thoughts on where you would like to see the rematch at and anything else that I may have forgotten the fight that you want to throw in on. I'm just still excited from the fight. It actually was that good of a fight. Anyway, if you haven't already, like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so we can keep talking boxing. Other than that, that's all I got. I'll let y'all later.